Hello everyone, I've got a short but interesting video here. Now someone shared this as evidence of a Russian book SAM system intercepting a storm shadow, and it's been shared by many Russian sources as showing that very thing. It isn't a storm shadow. First of all, although storm shadow is launched from a high altitude, it hugs the terrain for the duration of its flight path, before popping up again when it's close to the target in order to scan it to compare it to a preloaded image before striking. But it doesn't pop up this high, and Storm Shadow doesn't fly this high towards the target. Now, it is launched at a great height from Su-24s, but the book is a mid-range SAM system, and Russia deploys these further back behind the first line of SAM systems, which consist of TORs, Strelatens, and OSAs. Russia's SAM belt is typically MAMPADs, then short range SAM systems, then the mid range systems like the Buck, and then the S300 at the rear. A Storm Shadow wouldn't be deployed this close to a Buck. By the time Storm Shadow reaches the layer of defence featuring Bucks, they would be flying at a low altitude. Finally, and most telling of all, Russia shows the radar screen of a Buck during the video. The object it's tracking is stationary. Storm Shadow moves at over 300 meters a second. In the 7 seconds the radar is on screen for, the Storm Shadow would have moved over 2000 meters. That doesn't happen here. The object being tracked doesn't move at all. I'll replay that section again. So look at the radar screen, you can see the object being tracked by the book. No movement at all on the radar screen, it's stationary. The object they destroyed was a hovering drone. I actually wouldn't be surprised if it wasn't a Russian drone, and this was filmed entirely for propaganda purposes. And if this is the case, the only thing this is evidence of is that Russia can't even lie correctly. But that still doesn't stop the shills from Twitter lapping it up. So far we have no confirmation of a storm shadow being intercepted at all. I think we saw photos of two which crashed before hitting the target, but they were almost complete, not intercepted by missiles, because if they were, they would resemble Prigozhin's jet. So far, the only way Russia has managed to intercept Storm Shadow is with buildings, bases and bridges. A second thing to address. Russian shills are also claiming that Storm Shadow is either depleted or destroyed by Russia in an air raid, saying none have been seen since Russia's bombing raid hitting Staro Konstantinov Air Base, where Su-24s are kept. That too is twaddle. The day after that raid, the Chanhar Bridge was hit by Storm Shadow. A couple of days ago, Berdyansk was hit by Storm Shadow, shown here. I think this was on the 27th. So clearly, Storm Shadow is still in action. So that's it for this video. I hope you found it interesting. I always enjoy videos where I can um, dismiss some Russian twaddle. So I hope you did too. If so, please click like and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Thanks again. And take care, everybody.